Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 104 of our Crusader Kings 2 West African Merchant Republic series. Let's continue. So in the previous episode we finished our war with the Godrids or Andalusia or whatever you want to call them. Uh, we took this uh, Duchy of Portugale and that's pretty cool. Uh, they also have some revolts in them so hopefully maybe we have some chances that they're gonna change the the ruler so maybe I'm gonna have a chance to declare another one war on them but uh, while it's not happening I need to find a new target for me and also one of the things I should do considering the amount of uh, oh nice we're not wounded anymore that's cool uh, considering that we have tons of vassals 33k currently you should start using their uh, armies for wars and I thought about this so we have about like let's go and check how much uh, on this European lens, we have like 14k about troops, so we probably should use them and try to attack someone. I've already been looking around a little bit and Aquitaine looks like a decent target. They only have like uh, less than 4k troops, they also Fraticelli, so the only uh, people who gonna could join their war is France, and the France currently have some... Uh, some have some their own wars, so they probably not gonna join, I hope. And uh, yeah, and we also have some lands, uh, which is the jour parts of Aquitaine and the Duchy of Toulouse. So attacking for Duchy of Toulouse is probably gonna be a decent idea for me to try to make it into our vassal. And yeah, they also don't really have much allies, just uh, counts and dukes. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I hope it's gonna went well. And yeah, as I said, I'm just gonna be trying, uh, just gonna be trying to use the uh, vassal troops. So they're all just gonna try to merge like Piemonte, I guess. Oh, that... what? Oh, the problem with supply limit in here is probably because it's mountainous areas. Let's go and merge you in Provence instead. Provence have like double the amount of uh, double the amount of uh, supply limit in here, so should be a lot better. And let's go and try to pay attention to this guy who is gonna join his war. Have uh, someone who's 16, and even though he's a bastard, looks like he's still considered as a part of my dynasty. Okay, I hope you're gonna give me some. Uh, I hope you're gonna give me some uh, trade post limit, because that would be cool. I want to have more, even though we are... Oh! 31 only, that's pretty poor. I hope uh, that we're actually gonna be able to get some more trade post limit, because uh, we already been stagnating about the trade post limit couple previous episodes, so maybe, maybe we already reached the point where we couldn't really yet any higher, but I would really hope. Yeah, demand monetary compensation, because we already popping out tons and tons and tons of children with each uh, of our uh, characters, but we're still not really getting any higher than like 34, maybe 35, I don't remember if he had something like this. Probably yes. Okay, some, some one of my kinsmen wants to join the... Uh, Wants to join the Spirit Gardens and decrease my trade post limit again. Okay. Also, we have some stupid uh, neutral troops in here. Army of Bishop Obeko, Marsan. What is Marsan? I have no idea, but I'm still gonna kill you. We have like th three times more troops than you. So I guess it's gonna be fine if I'm gonna take you even without waiting. Oh, we have a a inspiring leader in here, so let's go get you in here. The flanker at the flank and the unyielding in here, I guess. So yeah, I'm not gonna be even waiting for the army of Croatia because they are a little bit too far away and this guy's already making some progress in the siege. Uh, what if uh, probably gonna have a river crossing here. Narbonne, Provence and Venice. Uh, yeah, let's go and try to choose other province, like this one. So it's gonna take us some time, but um, I don't want to risk it too much. Even though I'm pretty sure, even with uh, river crossing, we would uh, 
We would crush his army pretty easily, but still, I don't want to risk it, as I said. Much of population Daimieta got converted. Daimieta, it's... I... I heard this name somewhere. Don't remember when, but okay, I'm happy about that. Uh, oh, now it's red flag, like the revolt. No. The red flag is the flag of Marsan. Interesting. And the Marsan is who? You're just independent. Okay, so that's really stupid. We are not involved in any wars with Marsan, but their flag is still showing in here, even though they're neutral. So stupid. But we still got some... Uh, uh, still got some war score technically, because most of the army in here were the army of Equitain, and that's great. Also, actually, let's go and just... Let's go and just siege. Not gonna be touching this peasant revolt, even though they're sieging... Oh, nice, we have a son. Let's go and get him away first. Uh, even though this guy's sieging uh, some lands, some counties in the lands which I want to have, they're probably just gonna go away soon, so... I hope so. Narbonne and Peasant Revolt. Actually, there's a chance that they probably could become independent. And it's not gonna be great for me. But oh well. I still don't want to... Oh. Oh, let's go with this guy. The previous one looks like uh, club footed and he's from some uh, strange province. Actually, maybe I want to put down the rebellion. Because if they would become independent, it's actually not gonna be great for me at all. More sons. Let's go and get you more wives. I can't see any lustful ones. What about the Grey Eminences, as I already said? Not, not much as well. Okay, could you take this one? You could. Go and do this then. So, but yeah, I'm... I'm probably not gonna touch this Peasant Revolt uh, quite yet. We'll see how they're gonna be doing, and if it's gonna become uh, too dangerous, I would probably try to intercept them. Also, this guy's just pillaging me right right near my uh, army, and we lost some gold. And considering that we're in negative balance, I probably should switch off retinue reinforcement for a couple of days, just to prevent me from getting bankrupt. Because being bankrupt is not great. So let's actually go the, and check the status. Narbonne and Peasant Revolt, 8% only. Okay, so they're not they're not getting anywhere close uh, to enforcing their demands. And actually, I have no idea what would happen with the sieged provinces if I were to uh, win my war. If they're gonna, they gonna become independent or the Peasant Revolt is gonna end inconclusively. And no, I would try to siege the lands... Oh, someone just got called in. Oh, Counts of Marsan. How convenient is that I've already uh, destroyed your army, right? Uh, yeah, I would try to just, uh, first of all, siege the provinces I could before attacking the Peasant Revolt, and then we'll see if you would need to touch them at all. Also, Andalusia, how are you looking? And as I said, they just changed their ruler. So we could probably, yeah, we would be able to declare war on them if we had no race levies. We could make a move to some of our courtiers. Let's go and do this. She's not our kinsman or kinswoman, so that's fine. And we could always legitimize the bastard if needed, even though it's gonna probably piss off a lot of our children. But the bastard still could uh, be could be providing us a straight post limit. Sun needs an educator. Any kings in here who is not good enough? Prince Mayor of Italy. Prince Mayor? Don't you say that Italy just became a republic? Probably yes. Uh, it seems so. Uh, your Italian culture, that's not acceptable actually. You should be Mande. All of your provinces, or half of your provinces are already Mande, except your capital. Uh, oh well, if one of our sons gonna become Italian, it's probably not gonna hurt us that much. Even though we still have chances to 
uh, to be playing as him. So, yeah, I. The farmer is lying. The farmer shouldn't be. Let's not try the farmer. Well, no, let's not touch the farmers. And we just dec uh, decrease the opinion of, with some of our courtiers. That's a strange event. Let's go and switch on the resonance reinforcement back. And yeah, we would be declaring a war on, the, on Andalusia again after we're gonna finish this one. Because, uh, as I already said, we could not declare a while while we have having uh, raised levies. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, more of my people want to join Spirit Gardens, and this one is actually the one with great military skill. But I'm not gonna not gonna dec uh, decline. Because spirit guardians are good guys, and actually, I should probably be trying to use them some more in my wars, and so they're not really that useful. So, comforted by lover, diplomacy plus one, health plus one. There's almost no risk of discovery. Yeah, sure. And she discovered. <laughs> Admitted, uh, but refused to break with her. My affair with Namis is ended. Grand Prince breaks up with Namis. Uh, let's lie to our wife. You're lustful, so. Oh, and she's depressed. She could probably die because... No, I don't know. Whatever. Just just make babies. Don't... Don't talk with me. Oh, Andalusia. What's happening? And why your capital just moved somewhere? Oh. You're a king now. Interesting. You just changed dynasty. Cool. Where is your capital now? It's in here. Okay. And now all of a sudden you have army again. God damn it. And who are you fighting with? Uh, defending against civil war of Clover and Crown Authority and summons war for Andalusia. Could you please stop changing dynasties? Could you please just be called Andalusia all the time and it would be easier for me to call you. Oh, and the army of this peasant revolt is dropping. That's great. Should we destroy them at all? Oh! Never mind, the Equitaine gonna do this. And actually, looks like they... The Equitaine just involved some... What's army is that? Aquitaine 4000. They're not supposed to have this. Looks like it's the army, like the Holy Order or something. Why is there 6k? That's not... That's not right. Narbonian Revolt. Army of Bishop. Army of Rigfor, Aquitaine. Who is Rigfor? This is showing me only 3k and we have 6k in here. So, what kind of crap is that? Aquitaine, Mar oh, Marsam. Yeah, you are also in here, but... Come on. Okay, fight some more with peasants, lose some more troops. Then we're gonna destroy your army and take all of your lands. We have a bastard daughter. Uh, no, I don't need a bastard daughter, so... Screw her. We could use bastard sons, but not, not daughters, definitely. Okay, they decided to split, actually. It's a perfect opportunity for me to strike. Uh, I have been spending more time with my wife. Yeah, considering that we've just... been, uh, been having fun with... Uh, with lovers. This opinion was not gonna help at all. Uh, something happened. Um, thousand defendants in here. Also, we could probably get rid of the leaders as I've been doing previously to try to avoid the avoid the siege events because we already lost quite a few troops due to this, and this is kind of unfortunate. Actually, let's go and split split the army in here and try to send them here because. The, the levies in here are kind of low, only 900, so I don't want, uh, I don't really want to waste time and let them uh, replenish at all. Some more pop-ups popping somewhere, and 
I don't know what is that. My grandson needs an educator. Oh, Croatia for some reason is pissed. Uh, our retinues is slowly reinforcing actually. We're having a lot of money. Why don't we switch it to full reinforcements? Looks like Andalusia finished one of their major rebellions. And they're having now even more troops. My son is 16. Oh, you're strong and zealous and ambitious. But been an awesome, uh, awesome character to play as. We could actually uh, set him as our designated heir, but it's going to be problematic because he's 16 and we would need to uh, throw a lot of money in him to uh, to make the election possible. Oh, we have this strong character, Fertility plus 10, Fortune Builder plus 10. Let's go and take her. Oh, get damn it, it's going to cost us quite a lot of money. Uh, should we spend it? Ah, uh, no. I thought she's pretty good, but come on. That's a little bit too much. Actually, probably the price for them being calculated uh, uh, considering the the status of the husband. Like my son, because he could be my... Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, my wife just died. Probably because of depression, right? Died of poor health. Eh, that's bad for her. Oh, actually, some of my con concubines is also pretty old and I am 77. That's... That's an awesome... Uh, that's really, uh, like, surprising to live so long, especially in such times. We could take the, the one we wanted to take for our son, but she's still too expensive. Minus 100 prestige, but we have tons of prestige, and she's attractive and might touch, so oh well. 300 prestige or 500 gold. That's an obvious choice. Also, we lost one of our concubines. Don't, don't you say that we got our concubine as our wife? That's kind of strange, but okay. Let's go and set aside this one. Because she's too old. And let's go and take some other concubines. 63, no thanks. This one is lustful. Sounds great. And someone else. Maybe a diplomat. Mm hmm. They are all pretty terrible. This one, 36. Let's go sort by age. Let's try get someone who is young. Oh, we have some prisoners. That's, that's actually kinda cool. Any lustful prisoners? Oh, we have some orthodoxes in here. But she's chased. Never mind. Let's go with you. From, uh, from prison right to my bed chambers. You should be happy. Uh, raiders arrived, of course. Screw the raiders, everyone hates them. And I can't really do much about them. Some more sieges is being done. Awesome, we could now actually move. Probably to some other province. Grandson, who is 16, awesome. Go find you a wife. Try to get someone who is young, maybe. Uh, 16. Oh, 600. No thanks. Okay, let's try to sort. It's too hard to look for the... Uh, to look for the age, so... I'm just gonna be using... Uh, the stewardship and diplomacy. We just want something in here, but I have no idea what. Probably siege in there? No. Not really. Oh, this guy's actually siege in my... Lands and this is not acceptable. Probably should do something with this. Uh, do we have a river crossing? Uh, not from this place. So 6k against uh, 35k. I think we should be fine. Let's go and get some more leaders though. Yeah, the flank is fallen and now they're dead. Awesome. It's gonna give us probably something about 20 war score maybe. 15. Yeah, something about this. Let's go and uh, destroy it completely. Oh, double 
double points in like no days at all. So we could spend some on economy, but I'm gonna be keeping these points for trade practices. Actually, this is one of the ways uh, which is gonna be, uh, which is gonna let us to get some more trade posts. Not only using the suns, but getting some more technology is definitely gonna provide us with some more trade posts. Also, the siege of the uh, siege of this place starting to kick in. We lost our spy master, the one who just gave us a lot of points. Okay, let's go and get one new, and you're gonna be studying technology in Constantinople as always. And it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys, so we're gonna be finishing with this war in the next episode, and probably trying to declare another one on Andalusia, considering that they just uh, switched their leader. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, you could subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it, and I would be seriously put. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.